trainer has been embedded in boxing here in this area for quite some time. The acclaimed Calvin Ford. Tank, how you feeling just less than an hour removed from your victory? I'm uh, feeling good. You know what I mean? Um, on to the next, man. Ready for Ryan. All right. Well, now let me turn it over to the media for questions. Raise your hand. Keith Eidick, you're first. Uh, Javante, how you doing? Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Did, did you feel like he was ready to go in the beginning of the ninth round? Had he come out for the ninth round? Did you sense how badly he was hurt toward the end of the eighth? Oh, I thought it was, I didn't know it was the ninth round. It didn't go, I, what round was it? He didn't answer the bell for the start of the ninth round. Oh. So you did the damage in the eighth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know I caught him good, but I didn't know I caught him like that. Where I thought he could, he, he wasn't gonna come out the ring. But I knew I caught him good. But my coach, I, I came back to the corner and was like, um, that I knew I was about to knock him out. Cause I was touching him. I started touching him more. That ninth round, you were ready to come out immediately. Yeah. You were already in the center of the ring. The still wasn't even done yet. So turn it back over to the media for questions. Did you think the fight was close on the scorecards? It was. It seemed reasonably competitive, but you were way ahead on all three cards. No, I don't think it was. It was close. I was hitting him with more cleaner shots. I mean, the most he was doing was hitting me with a with a jab, and that's. I don't feel as though that that's not winning. Javante, Ronnie Duncan, CBS Detroit, right here in front of you. You and Calvin had so much respect for this gentleman before he stepped in the ring. Calvin, you even said that we're going to take out time. Talk about the difficulty, but then what you saw, especially defensively, because you were doing some things defensively you don't get credit for with the smart boxing IQ. But tell me, what did you see, and when did you know you were going to break him down? Um, I just... I felt as though he was he was trying to set me up, so I was I, w I couldn't just like um, just go out there and throw punches, you know. So when you got somebody like that, it's more it's more so um, beating them mentally, you know what I mean. So that's basically what I was doing, not trying to run into no shots. I was trying to like catch him catch him good, but not let him catch me, you know what I mean. Nah, I mean Tank always tell me when he great get a person and whatnot, but this fight right here. His IQ, he was analyzing. I, there was two things that he couldn't do well. It was move backwards and move to his left that good. And then Tank started doing some angle stuff that I was like, man, I was really impressed with. He was hitting him with some shots and whatnot. And then when Tank came back to the corner, uh, Coach Kenny was messing with him saying, it's close because he was, he, he, his workload looked it like he was doing something, you know what I'm saying? But Tank went out there and started putting it together. I mean, he really stopped putting it together and whatnot. And I was like, wow, you know, but I was shocked. I, I didn't know that he hit him that hard to make him not want to come out. You know, that, that's the type of ones I like when he's putting it together and showing his real talents that he really has. Hey, Tate Davis, uh, Sasha Garcia, right here from Reality Productions. Um, I know it means a lot. Uh, how does it feel to get, your, get a win in your hometown area? And also, after defeating Hector Garcia, is Ron Garcia next? And if so, what's your message for him? If it's up to me, Ron definitely next. Uh, we somewhat, we somewhat got, you know, what I mean everything and and um, going in the right direction. So uh, we just waiting for, you know, what I mean Ron to um, accept on his his side and, and let's get the job done. How's it feel to get a um, win? It felt great, you know, I always coming back home in the DMV area, it felt great, you know what I mean? Um, I've been fighting here since I was, you know what I mean, I was eight. So it felt great to be back home and in front of a beautiful crowd, you know what I mean? Um, definitely uh, tonight was a big event, you know what I mean? I think uh, boxing won tonight. Javante, um, <laughs> you work with them? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, of course, man. They ready for that money. That's what it is. They ready. They ready to get get that money. But uh, I appreciate them for you know wishing me luck. You know what I mean? Um, 
Ryan and uh, Javante. The question Thompson. was for the stream. Go ahead. Go ahead, I just wanted to reiterate the question. Guys, for the media, wait for the microphone so the stream can pick it up. The question was the fact that Oscar De La Hoya wished him well and that they're waiting for him, and that was Tank's answer, so. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is Rashid Hammond from the Second Win Boxing Media. Uh, the last time I spoken with you, uh, I don't know where you at, brother. I'm right here, brother. Oh. Yeah, last time I talked to you, I was telling him about his hands being low. And I noticed you were coming over top with that left hand. Was that a part of your strategy? Uh, I just had to. I had to. I had to figure him out. That's why I had to figure him out. I really didn't want to, you know, um, throw shots and and leave myself open because he he he's he's game. I feel as though he's a technical fighter. You know what I mean? And I I didn't want to uh, leave myself open, so. People would talk about uh, sometimes we didn't throw uh, punches. You know what I mean? That happens. I ain't trying to get caught with no shots. I'm light skinned, so I ain't really trying to get caught with no big shots. You know what I mean? All to the body. So I like to take my time and uh, get hit. I mean, uh, hit and not get hit. You know what I mean? So that's uh, mainly what, you know what I mean? I'll be trying to do it there. Tank, right over here. Marcus Hayes with Fight Up. He's too here. Uh, Ryan Garcia. Get your ass. No, 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 no. Yeah, I tell him the same thing. Get out of here, fight up. Marcus Hayes with Fight Up TV. Tank, Ryan Garcia, 45 minutes ago, just tweeted out, goodbye, Tank, it's over for you. And Jake Paul says that he's picking Ryan Garcia to knock you out. What are your response to those comments? Jake Paul is a clown and Ryan is a baby clown. <laughs> tell him to get ready. That's what, that's what they do. They like to... The, talk off of, uh, they try to get fame off of other people's uh, victories and things like that, so. It shouldn't be no more talking, it should be just working. And that's what Ryan did, right? No more talking, and he also wrote April 15th, tax day, is that the day that you guys are gonna be fighting? <laughs> Shit, he already said it. <laughs> he already said it, so. I'll be, I'll be getting ready, I ain't doing no more talking, it just. You got to sign that dollar line. Tank following up on that list now, there's some Washington What do you see as the biggest obstacle kind of remaining in the negotiations? Gee, he, he agreed with everything. And then, uh, what did you think of the... We, did, we did like this to him. He just agreed with everything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, uh, what do you think of the fight stopping there in the eighth? Or, you know, what was the fight in the crowd that looked like? Uh, what do you think of that? What do you mean? The fight stopped there in the, the eighth round. Oh. Just, there was like a stoppage. There was a fight in the crowd. Like, oh. You know, was, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, when stuff like that happens, I don't be wanting to get get caught up in the crowd and wind up getting caught with a with a punch. So I just, I you see, I just step back and let them do what they do and we'll get back to it when all the uh, stuff died down. That's what, uh, we got security and all that, and police for for to, to separate that stuff. And I feel as though um, a fight should be going on when 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 stuff like that happen, anything liable to happen. You know what I mean? So I feel as though that's why I step back. Two more questions, guys. Tank. Hey, what's up, Tank? What's up, Tank? This is Skip. Side of field this is Zinger. It was my oh. turn. It was my turn next, bro. Oh, hey, Respectfully. This is Skip from Dante's Special. Boxing. This is Skip from Dante's Boxing Nation. First of all, congratulations on a, on a great win. Thank My you. question to you, will I, I want to make a statement. Uh, after the press conference, I had, I had to ask you who had the better skills. It was it Hector Garcia or Ryan Garcia. You told me Hector Garcia. So what does this say was going to happen to Ryan? Is it, you know, it's going to get worse for Ryan, apparently, according to what you, said, what you told me. Yeah, but I, I feel as though uh, I don't want to say too much because now I got to fight him, so <laughs> let's just get ready. That's, 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 that's more so what I say about him. Uh, broad, get broad. ready. So does that mean you're gonna get him out of there quicker? I don't know. When you when you look at when you look at fights going into fights, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people train different, getting ready for a bigger fight. So like we don't never go into a fight thinking we're gonna smash right through him and everything. It's like Hector. Everybody kept saying, oh Hector, but then when y'all start really watching Hector, y'all know this was a real fight. So Ron is he he y'all think he he putting something together. Because he knows this is a big fight. You know, I got, you, you got to give him his credit. 
He's where he at for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And he chose, I'm gonna fight team. So right now, they, they going back and forth. I can't wait. You know, I can't wait. Uh, questions. Uh, questions. Broadway, Joel. Broadway, Joel. Hold on, let Lem Satterfield go and yeah. then maybe uh, this, throw this, one more question. Questions. This question for both of you guys. Um, this is rarefied air. Eighth straight sellout fight for you. Fifth straight pay per view. What does that say for both of you about you? What is it that draws, and you do it all over the country? Uh, for me, I'm just appreciative. Um, I'm thankful uh, to be able to do that. Um, the sellout, you know what I mean? Um, the places we do go, um, it's amazing. You know what I mean? I, I never want to take it, um, take it uh, for granted. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm appreciative. I, I, be, I was able to, you know what I mean, um, put on a great, um, great show for, you know what I mean, for boxing, for the beautiful fans that's in D.C. Uh, not just my fight, but the whole card, you know what I mean, it was, it was great to see, you know what I mean? And a lot of guys that, a lot of guys that, it, it was upsets, you know what I mean? It was uh, decent fights, it was great fights on the, uh, on the card, and um, in the future, it's, it's, it's more to come. Last question. Broad, Broadway Joel, the, Broadway Joel, the voice of Dominican boxing. Uh, so, uh, Devin Haney had mentioned that he was beating up Hector Luis Garcia and sparring so yeah. bad that he had to kick him out. Uh, so it's a two-part question. One, do you believe that? He put out a little clip. It didn't look like much, but uh, I, I want to know, do you believe that? And also, how do you see, being in, after being in the ring with Hector, how do you see a fight with Haney and Hector playing out? Uh, shit, I don't know about uh, them two, because... Uh, I can't really say about two other guys, and especially the other guy I don't really pay attention to. So, uh, but the the clip that he he showed it wasn't really it wasn't really nothing. It wasn't just a he just was landing jabs. That's about it. He ain't really do nothing. He, he didn't do what I did. Damn sure ain't do what I did. <laughs> that guy said he ain't no way was that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They sparred twice, so. All right, Tank, what do you want to finally tell the fans as we get ready to let you go? Another impressive, memorable performance here, another sellout crowd. I'm sure pay-per-views were fantastic all over the world. What do you want to tell the fans and as we get ready for what appears to be a massive showdown with you and Ryan Garcia? Uh, just keep supporting me. I fight for y'all, man. I appreciate, I appreciate everybody that came out tonight, all the media, all the fans, uh, people that watch on Showtime, um, people that was on the undercard, uh, Showtime, uh, Al Heyman, um, my personal team, uh, everybody, man. I just appreciate y'all, and uh, we're going to continue to uh, do this. And still the lightweight champion of the world from Baltimore, Maryland, Gervonta Tank Davis, must-see TV. An impressive performance yet again as he finishes off for actor Luis Garcia. Thank you so much for joining us, Safe Travels. We will see you next month.